This problem involves a chain rule and we'll have to do a quotient rule when we get to the point where we're taking the derivative of the inside. There's nothing more I can do to simplify this, so I'm going to go ahead and start the problem as is. Your u is going to be all this stuff inside and so your outside function is going to be a square basically, so u squared is going to be that one. Following the formula, we want to do f prime of u, derivative of the outside, times derivative of the inside. The derivative of the outside means the 2 will come down and you apply a power rule to that and then we'll multiply it by the derivative of the inside. When we get to that point where we're taking the derivative of the inside, we'll have to do a quotient rule for that one. Okay, so let's get started. So we want to do h prime of t. Okay, start with the outside function. The 2 is going to come down. Now, when you do that first step, everything in here is going to be exactly the same because the formula says f prime of u. We're saying that u is all this on the inside, which means that you'll have t squared over t cubed plus 2. That's your u. This will be written as to the first power. You don't have to show that, but uh, just showing you that we did apply the power rule there. Now, when I get to this part where I got to do u primed, this involves a quotient rule. So I'm just going to work with the inside function only and I'm going to use a quotient rule on that. Quotient rule says you got the bottom thing times the derivative of the top. So here, let's write that out. Bottom, derivative of the top. Derivative of, of t squared is 2t. Minus, don't forget there's always a minus sign when you do quotient rule. Minus the top thing, t squared, times the derivative of the bottom. Okay, drew to the bottom would be 3t squared. And that would be it. Over the bottom squared. And this, I'm definitely I don't want to multiply that out because I notice I have another one over here, t cubed plus 2. So in fact, I can write this as a 2 over 1 and I'll end up getting one big fraction. So it says write as a single fraction, so I want to clean this part up first, then I want to combine everything all together, multiply it into uh, one fraction. Okay, so the calculus is basically done, so now it's just a matter of do some algebra, simplify this. Let's leave the first part alone, we'll leave that as 2t squared over t cubed plus 2, not much more we can do with that first part, so we'll leave that alone, and then I'm going to multiply it by this. So this part I want to do some cleanup work with it. I'm going to multiply this part out, do some foiling, so 2t to the fourth power plus 4t, and then I have this part minus 3t to the fourth power. So this is what you get when you multiply the whole top part. And again, on the bottom I have 2 cubed plus 2 squared. I want to combine this together even further, so I want to add some like terms together if I can. So, and also at the same time, I'm going to multiply the bottom one out. So here's what I'll do. First I'll multiply the bottom ones out. I have this to the first power, I'm adding two more. Add the exponents, t cubed plus 2 to the third power I'll have down there, adding the 1 and the 2 together. I get this. I have 2t squared, and then I'm just going to simplify this other part. So when I, add, when I do that, I get... Um, 2t to the fourth minus 3, that's a negative. So I can write this as 4t minus a 1t to the fourth uh, right there. So again, I just subtracted these terms to get this. Your final answer, we can do one more factoring step. We can factor out a t from here, and that's going to go on the outside. So if I pull a t out, it's going to make that outside one t cubed. So 2t cubed. And then what's left over on the inside is 4 minus, let's track 1 from this, we'll give you t cubed. And then the bottom we still have t cubed plus 2 whole quantity cubed there. So this would be your final factored answer. They wanted a single fraction, it is a single fraction, and it's already factored.